vote for Kamala Harris. And it's actually non-negotiable. Come on. And if you disagree with this sentiment, just hit the unfollow button. I don't need your business. Thanks. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Even though I am an actor and being on the spot is quite literally my job, I get very nervous and my palms start to sweat. So we're gonna have to check at the end of the video just how sweaty my palms get. Weird. Weird. Congrats, baby. Stooped to a whole new level of low. When Disney hired woke activist actress Rachel Zegler to play Snow White, they had no idea that with hiring this woke actress, they would have to put in so much money and have so many delays due to the fact that she is such a problematic actress. And here's the crazy part. Her career has just begun. Her very first movie was three years ago in 2021 with it being West Side Story. And even then when she was promoting West Side Story, you were able to spot a glimpse of who Rachel Zegler was. It just became a conversation about how many different ways there are to be of Latin yeah. descent. Do you speak the language? Does it, matter? Does it matter? Do you eat the food? Does it matter? Where do you come from? Even though she said she suffered from imposter syndrome, her direct quote is, I haven't done any other film projects, but I'm constantly pinching myself. That comes with a lot of gratitude. Well, that didn't last very long because eventually you got to see who Rachel Zegler really was. She was complaining about not being invited to the 94th Academy Awards despite her movie being nominated for multiple awards. She wrote on Twitter in reply to somebody, can't wait to see what you'll be wearing on Oscar night. I'm not invited. So sweatpants and my boyfriend's flannel. Shut up, will you shut up? Ah, oh, now we see the violence inherent in the system. She goes on to say, I don't know y'all, I've tried it all, but it doesn't seem to be happening. I will root for West Side Story from my couch and be proud of the work we so tirelessly did three years ago. I hope some last minute miracle occurs and I can celebrate our film in person, but hey, that's how it goes sometimes, I guess. Thanks for all the shock and outrage. I'm disappointed too. Shut up! Help! Help! I'm being repressed! Well, because she sparked so much outrage online, she got invited. Well, folks, I can't believe I'm saying this, but see you on Sunday. The absolutely incredible team at Disney and our Snow White producers work some real life magic, and I'm thrilled to be able to celebrate my West Side Story movie fam at the Oscars. Not only was she invited, but she ended up being a presenter. <laughs> And in my opinion, this was the first time that Rachel Zegler saw, hey, I have some power now because I have Disney backing me because I am their new Snow White and I'm going to take advantage of that. After that, she went after Sean Bean for talking about intimacy coordinators. Then when promoting and on the red carpet for Shazam! Fury of the Gods, when asked why she took the role, she said she needed a job. What made you want to step into this world of DC heroes? I needed a job. I'm being so serious. I mean, I, the reality was we were in the middle of a pandemic and I was not working and I couldn't get a job for the life of me because West Side Story hadn't come out yet. And it was really hard to book work for me. So of course that sparked a little bit of outrage, a little bit of controversy. And after she said that, she sparked more controversy while wearing this. Rachel Zegler models a top with a rude saying after admitting she took the role of Shazam Fury of the Gods because she needed a job. And the top that they're referring to is this one that says, fuck off. All of the people were angry. Well, then it was announced that Rachel Zegler would be playing Snow White. Disney had found their princess. And with Gal Gadot on a press tour, instead of doing really good publicity for Snow White and talking about how much she loved the princess, she ended up bashing the original movie. The original cartoon came out in 1937 yeah. and very evidently so. <laughs> there is a big focus on her love story with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. You said you were bringing a modern edge to it on stage. What do you mean by that? I just mean that it's no longer 1937 and we absolutely wrote a Snow White that she's is... She's not going to be yeah, saved by the prince. She's not going to be saved by the prince and she's not going to be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be. It's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along the way is anybody's guess until 2024. All of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. What are you doing? And the audience completely rejected that. She also said she only watched the movie one time and it scared her. And then this image released and Disney had to completely start all 
over again. Disney had to delay the film. They delayed the film by a year. And while it was said at the time that the actor strike was to blame. I, I really do say this so often when it comes to young actors, you usher them towards the light and it will follow them. I'm gonna stand there 18 hours in a dress. I deserve to be paid for every hour that it is streamed online. <laughs> Sources told Daily Mail that the company changed the release date because it was terrified the film would be a financial failure following the immense scrutiny. Yeah, there was a lot of scrutiny coming from the fan base, including the Disney fan base, who did not want Rachel Zegler to represent their princess when she wasn't a fan of it. She didn't like the film. It scared her. And all she kept talking about was how outdated the film was and how they were going to update it for a modern audience. It's just a really incredible story for, I think, young people everywhere to see themselves in. Nope. Disney had to delay Snow White because they have spent so much money on it. And if it's a financial disaster at the box office, it might single-handedly cripple future remakes and potential Snow White sequels they have planned. There's right. going to be so many stories that come from the set about how difficult I am to work with. So Rachel Zegler could single-handedly, just on her own, just completely screw Disney. And even though they did all that, the audience had already spoken and the Snow White trailer received 1.3 million dislikes. It got so bad that articles like this were written. Branding experts warn Rachel Zegler backlash could ruin Disney's big budget Snow White remake and predict executives will be having crisis talks in order to win back fans. A PR expert agrees and told Daily Mail that perhaps Rachel isn't the best person to promote the film despite playing the main character. By a considerable <laughs> margin and uh... <laughs> Rachel has actively chosen to spoil the narrative and express the new direction she is taking with Snow White. It's Hollywood, baby. And yeah, they were having crisis talks because just a year later, at the beginning of October, October 2nd, 2024, a full year later, they took a whole year off, they came out with this piece by Variety. This was supposed to paint her in a better life. This was the damage control that they decided to do for Rachel Zegler. But instead, it backfired because Rachel Zegler can't take accountability for anything. And in this article, she continued to paint herself as a victim. Since since August. She really hasn't said anything up until Donald Trump got elected. And that's when this tweet went incredibly viral. So viral that Rachel Zegler had to make a statement 24 hours later. Honestly, her this is how she truly feels. Her apology is nothing more than PR damage control. Those aren't her words. Those are somebody else's words. This right here, this is how she truly feels. If you follow her career, if, if you follow her socials, these are Rachel Zegler's true feelings. And if you disagree with this sentiment, just hit the unfollow button. I don't need your business. Thanks. So Rachel Zegler puts out an apology, right? I'm sorry, she didn't put it out. Disney made Rachel Zegler put out an apology and you know what? It completely backfired. Nobody likes Rachel Zegler. She has become so insufferable that the audience completely wholeheartedly rejects her apology. Not only is it not sincere, these are not her words. In a time when authenticity is what is appreciated, it is a really bad move to be inauthentic in your apology response. Because seriously, we live in a time when YouTubers apologize like all the fucking time, it is so easy to spot a PR apology. Let's look at some of the replies to the apology. Disbrew says, you can apologize when you make a mistake. She has done this in all of her roles. She's been saying this kind of stuff, antagonizing fan bases for years. At that point, it's not a mistake. It's a personality trait. You mean it. So there's no point in apologizing. This is 100%. She does not mean it at all. Steven voiceover, hatred and anger have caused us to move further away from peace and understanding. So so I'll react by being angry and hateful towards half the country in the name of peace and understanding. Fuck off, Zegler. This sounds like Disney told her to apologize. <laughs> Drake Lipio just says, wow. And let's not forget, Rachel Zegler did have a part to play in Gina Carano's firing from Disney. When Gina Carano refused to put her pronouns in her bio and instead put boot bop beep, Rachel Zegler quote tweeted her and said, do not make fun of pronouns. They're not a joke. Pronouns are validating. Pronouns are cool. Put your pronouns in your bio. I wear my pronouns on a button sometimes. It's a good thing. 
by a lot of people are saying that Gina Carano got fired for less. Yes, she absolutely 100% did. She got fired for less than what Rachel Zegler spewed online. This is a fake apology and it's 100% denied. Please don't apologize. We don't accept it. Nothing sincere about that apology. Completely written by Disney PR. Too little, too late, too insincere, too hypocritical. She doesn't mean it. She was told to do it. No one is accepting Rachel Zegler's apology. Here's as. Oh, look, Rachel dumb as fuck Zegler went into damage control mode when she told over 75 million Americans that they should never know peace because of the way they voted. Zegler is the worst that Disney fired Carano but let Zegler run wild. I'm not watching any of their shit. Rachel Zegler, fake apology, not accepted. <laughs> Jay Longbone just laughs. I think I did really, really well and... I think this is like my my prize is bragging rights. This completely backfired on Disney. The live action remake is rumored to have a production budget of more than 200 million, which means it will have to gross well in excess of 400 million to break even in theaters, probably closer to five or even six hundred million bad buzz has followed the movie for months and that is all thanks to rachel zegler <laughs> despite doing damage control for this actress and the things that she said about the movie delaying the movie for a year the reshoots the millions of dollars that goes into this movie rachel zegler continues to be a thorn in the side of disney and i'm pretty sure that they cannot wait for this movie to come out just so they can be rid of her rachel zegler apologized and the fans completely rejected her apology i don't need your business Thanks. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. What do you guys think? Let me know in those comments down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.